I've got glass for Murano, and I've got an artillery ball. And I'm off to meet a lens grinder, who apparently can use this to turn this into a telescope lens. Buongiorno. Oh, buongiorno, Michael. <laughs> Hello, have that one. Ah, va bene. <laughs> In the autumn of 1609, Galileo himself began to grind and polish lenses. Adesso mettiamo la pala di cannone. Yeah. By trying out different lenses made with different sized artillery balls, he was able to produce magnifications of six and then 20 times. It might seem surprising that a mathematician like Galileo would want to get his hands dirty in this way, but it's part of an important emerging trend in the 16th and 17th century. People were no longer satisfied just to intellectualize about things. They were making instruments and they were testing them out. The fact that Galileo, a professor of mathematics, was grinding his own lenses is of real significance. This joining of the skills of scholars and craftsmen was key to the emerging power of European science.